Navigating the ServiceNow job market can feel like a maze, especially for junior talent just starting out. Many business analysts are eager to transition to ServiceNow admin or developer roles, but often find themselves lost without a clear roadmap. With an ecosystem flooded with minimal experience, how do you stand out and successfully make the leap? In this video, we'll break down five critical tips you need to know right now that will help you transition smoothly into a ServiceNow admin or developer role. Hi, my name is Alan Andreas. I'm a certified master architect with over 10 years of ServiceNow experience, and I'd like to welcome you to Alan Ovation. In previous videos, I've recommended that individuals new to the ServiceNow ecosystem who are having trouble finding a job start as a business analyst. This not only helps you get your foot in the door, but also builds skills that make you a stronger ServiceNow professional. For those who have followed this advice or are already a BA, this video will help you plan your approach so you can make your move and transition into a ServiceNow admin or developer role. Our first tip is to assess your current skills. This involves identifying your strengths as a BA and recognizing areas needing improvement for an admin or developer role. The job market will expect you to be certified to some extent. So if you don't have your certified system administrator certification, you should prioritize obtaining it. If you aim to become a developer, you should also earn your certified application developer certification. To achieve those goals, create a learning plan that includes enrolling in ServiceNow's Administration Fundamentals course and the Application Development Fundamentals course on ServiceNow's Now Learning website. We'll include links to these courses in the description below. But your learning does not stop there. Make sure you sign up for a free ServiceNow personal developer instance so you can practice and get to know the platform and watch our video that features 10 secrets to become the top tier ServiceNow admin, which will help you differentiate yourself from others. Aspiring developers should watch Chuck Tomasi's Learn JavaScript on the Now Platform series on the ServiceNow Dev Program's YouTube channel and use websites like Code Academy to learn JavaScript basics. Lastly, for either the admin or developer career paths, it's recommended to also obtain your implementation specialist certification for IT service management to really make yourself competitive in the job market. The second tip is to find a mentor. Connect with an experienced ServiceNow admin or developer within your organization or the ServiceNow community. Having someone to help hold you accountable and to bounce questions off of will greatly benefit your journey. Mentors offer practical tips and real-world experiences that aren't found in textbooks or courses. Additionally, their support, reassurance, and motivation can boost your confidence. You should schedule regular sessions to discuss your progress and seek guidance. But remember, mentors provide high-level guidance. They won't do the work for you, so it's crucial for you to do your part by following through. Tip three is all about getting involved in ServiceNow related work. As a BA, you have your own tasks that do need to be accomplished, but if you can shadow current admins or developers to observe what they do day to day, that will give you a good idea of what you're getting yourself into. BAs are the best people to know which stories are ranked as least effort, and if you find that they involve no code or low code solutions, volunteer to take on those tasks. Is a team member going on vacation or need to be out of office for some time? Let your project team know about your desire to get involved. Similarly, if you're aware of any ServiceNow hackathon or coding challenge events taking place, consider participating to test and improve your skills. You can also get involved in the ServiceNow community forums, attend local user group or developer meetups, and webinars to network and learn more. For our fourth tip, it's crucial to discuss your career goals with your manager. It's recommended that you clearly articulate your desire to transition to an admin or developer role while maintaining that you're dedicated to the organization and your current role as a BA. Coming off too abrupt or making it sound like you're imposing an ultimatum could lead to a negative outcome. 
Maintain a positive and collaborative manner and frame your desire to transition as a natural progression in your career. You can also assure your manager that you understand the importance of flexibility in meeting the team's needs and you're committed to supporting your team's success. Once management appears receptive, you should create a career development plan that outlines a gradual step-by-step -step transition to include a timeline and key milestones to where you start to take on admin or developer tasks while still fulfilling your BA responsibilities. The plan should also include organizational support for training and development, such as the utilization of professional development funds. Do not wait until your yearly performance review to discuss this with your manager. Instead, you should set up regular check-ins to allow them to provide input and feedback on your transition plan and make adjustments as needed. Finally, let's focus on continuous improvement. You should regularly seek feedback from peers and mentors to enhance your progress and remain receptive to new learning opportunities. Consider setting a goal to obtain several ServiceNow micro certifications, such as Virtual Agent and Predictive Intelligence. These courses offer some of the best hands-on practice, and as an added bonus, they're free. To stay current, you should follow ServiceNow blogs, release notes, and community updates for insights into the latest features and leading practices. Create a LinkedIn account and build your professional profile to connect and follow thought leaders within the ServiceNow ecosystem. Having access to a drip feed of tips and tricks will certainly strengthen your knowledge of the platform. As you can see, transitioning from a BA to a ServiceNow admin or developer requires some work, but if you leverage the five tips we shared in this video, you'll significantly increase your chances of making your move to a new role. We look forward to hearing about your progress, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. If you have additional transition tips you'd like to share, we'd love to hear those too. We sincerely appreciate you taking the time to watch this video, and if you enjoy ServiceNow content like this, please subscribe to the channel, like this video, and share it with others. Once again, my name is Alan Andreas, host of Alan Ovation, and until next time, take care.